Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Steve and I, we've headed up north, uh, about an hour out of Auckland, and we're actually setting the Kontiki today. Got a bit of wind around, weather's been playing up a bit, and we thought we'd leave the boat behind today and head out and set, set the Kontiki. Haven't done it for a while. Now we've headed up to um, Parkery, basically, along Parkery, Tiari, and um, yeah, we're just going to go out and do a couple of sets on the Kontiki and hopefully get into a few fish. Don't know much um, up around this area. Used to do it as a kid um, with the old man. Used to come up and sleep the night on the beach and do a bit of surfing and fishing. Um, Kontiki wise, not too sure where to go. So it's new to us up here. And um, I'm just going to head out onto the beach, find a spot, head up along and uh, have a go and hopefully get into a few fish. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Well, we made it out to the beach. It's a bit of a haul. Couldn't drive down, so we had to chuck it on a trolley. But um, you know, it's only taken five minutes, if that. It's quite windy. Um, it's meant to come out 20, 30 knots, but um, it's offshore, so that's all good for us. Quite a few people surf casting. There's a guy here at the entrance of the um, little stream there. Probably catch some kawai, but. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll have a couple of shots at it. Uh, we'll just send it out as far as we can. I've heard that the fish are out in the 50 metre mark around here. So um, we'll just see how we go. Hopefully get into a few fish. So steve is just trying to um, figure out what way that torpedo is going to go. He's got the GPS model. So we're just going to set it. It's a little bit cross shore. So we're going to take in account of the uh, wind blowing maybe push it off a little bit so we're gonna angle it out so we're just baiting up at the moment got a bit of um, salted mullet stay on the line a bit longer if we get a kawai um, in the first set we'll probably carve that up for um, some bait as well have a bit of mixture mixture of um, salted mullet and the kawai, fresh kawai, it's always good. So we'll set probably roughly around 20 hooks and um, we're going to set it out here as far as we can go, get it right out there. It's quite bright, I was hoping it was going to be a bit of a cloudy day today, but um, yeah not so much, it's quite uh, sunny, just very windy, but um, yeah offshores which is all good. So we've done a couple of sets, um, pretty much from the beginning of this year. We did a couple up north, and then we um, also did Meriwai, which was quite cool. Spent the night up there, did quite well. First set we got roughly six or seven fish, did a bit of a surf cast, and then got some fish in the morning on the surf cast, and then did our second set before we headed home. Ended up with about 15 fish all up, so it was a good weekend. So steve is running basically three sinkers here. Probably roughly around that sort of 30 ounce. It's got one at the front, one in the middle, one obviously at the end. And what we might do is just spread them out this time. Um, maybe put five hooks on the front, let it run sort of 20, 30 meters and then chuck on another five and so on. Hopefully pick up um, some 
either further out and then that second set will know where the fish are holding so if, if all the all we get the fish on the front we know to go further out on the second set fish in the middle obviously come in a bit and then f get fish on those first sort of hooks we know they're in shallow and um, then we'll be able to adjust our setting on that second set So he's just joining up the batteries now. I've got it set on a little bit of an angle. And um, he'll set the timer probably for about 25 minutes. Let it run. But awesome beach. Um, quite a long beach to basically pick a spot. Down on this right hand side. We've got uh, Goat Island, that's where people do all their snorkeling with um, obviously the fishing reserve. And I think a few people walk down to the first set of rocks, do quite well sometimes. That would be a place I'd probably fish in the late late av Arvo or even early morning if you're staying at the campsite here. But um, yeah, once we once we get the um, Kontiki set, we'll. Um, get a line with as well, bought the surf caster. So he's just um, setting the timer there. And she's all set to go. Okay, steve -O's just walking it out now. It's quite cool fun um, doing this kind of thing. I mean, even if it's not with your family, a couple of mates, a lot of fun. Great way to catch um, feed. And, um, you know, you can basically do a whole day on the beach. You can do a morning set and then um, have some lunch, flick a line out off the beach, do a bit of surf casting, and then wait for that Arvo, do another set. So Steve-O's just um, hooking up now. He's chucked on his first sinker. Basically, um, in our days, you've just got the snap-on um, trace things there, where we used to have the old triangles. Used to have to stop the kontiki from um, going out and then pull it through the triangle and set it over the little lip this way is a lot easier a lot quicker so he's just chucking on that middle sinker now right there and that obviously keeps your um, bait your line your swivels your hooks all at the bottom instead of sort of straight obviously um, like it would be if you had no sinkers so I do um, I've heard of a few guys that don't actually use sinkers but they're actually quite good to use keep that bait on the bottom you're after snapper gurnard um, not carwoy so we're coming up to the last hook here and the last sinker so once again sinker at the end and it'll keep that bow that real nice bow getting those baits down on the bottom where the fish are So now I'm going to, um, I'll get the surf caster ready and um, we'll chuck a line out, never know. Might catch a snapper um, off the beach, nothing on the con tiki. That's fishing. So running, running the braid again, I'm going to have to run the two um, traces. It's because I'm running a uh, running sinker. So there's my sinker, it's going to run up and down on mono instead of the braid. And then I've got my other trace there down to my hooks. So that just gives you that opportunity to run a um, running sinker when you're using braid. So we'll see how we go. Got a, got a lighter sinker on there. About a sort of a three ounce. And um, we'll see if I can get a bit of distance out of that. Might swap up to about a, a four or a five. But um, yeah, let's get a line in and 
see if we can catch even some car white bit of fun. So I probably got about 70 meters, 70 meters on that cast. So not that far out. Got a bit of a cross shore, um, which might be a bit of a problem with the um, non-breakaway sinker. But um, if we um, even get some kawai for our next um, set on the Kontiki. Kontiki's still going out. So I'm hooked up. Looks like a kawai. Which we want anyway for um, some fresh bait for our next set on the Kontiki. But um, this is what beach fishing normally gets you into. Is those kawai. But you never know, you might pick up a nice um, trevally, even a nice snapper. Um, probably more so dark time would be for your snapper. And like I was saying, if you're here with your kids, you've set the con ticky, cast out a line and you can get your kids into a few of these. There's nothing wrong with um, catching kawai off the beach, it's a lot of fun, especially for kids, it's a good size, fresh bait, maybe some fresh um, fish for lunch. There's a lot of um, hooks are coming in now. Pretty much with bait on, there's I can feel a kawai. Looks like a kawai there. They've all pretty much got um, bait on them, untouched. Got a kawai there. still got their bait which is a bit of a bummer so not too sure don't know if we were too far out so we've done a bit of a shift we've actually come back to um, Oriwa we were up north further skunked out on that first set and we thought rather than um, try another set jumped in the car driven back to Oriwa and we're going to do our last set here so we're just going out now and we'll give it sort of probably about half an hour soak and then we'll bring it in. So we've um, pretty much stopped it at about probably about a K, in between a K, K and a half. And just been talking to one of the locals and they were saying there's been quite a lot of fish caught here lately um, in between that one and two K. So we're right smack in the middle of there and hopefully we um, get a few fish. We don't get any, it's been a brilliant day anyway, we went up to Parkery first, beautiful place anyway, even if you don't catch anything, caught a couple of kawai, um, bit of fun anyway, but yeah, it'd be nice to go home with a couple of fish, especially for Steve-O, he's come up from Tauranga. Just starting to bring it in now, it's been soaking for about half an hour, what we're hoping is because it's coming on dark, fish are coming on the bite. Um, we didn't make it out quite far enough that um, we think, but you just never know. So we're just on to um, our first knot. So we're coming up to the hooks. It's getting dark so I don't know how much you guys are going to see. So we've got a fish there, swimming. Got another 
another fish about the same size, looks like. Good thing is, is um, all these hooks are debated, unlike where we were up at Parkery. So yeah, here's another, another nice little snipper. So here's another fish. Another fish, another couple. Fish of the day. <laughs> another couple, yep, another snapper. It's not too bad, it's better than what we thought. So yeah, it didn't turn out to be a bad night. I think just um, that coming on to dark has helped. Been a good night, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.